G'day, welcome to my channel. I'm just waiting for a tricycle to take me to my next destination and that'll be Treasure Island Dive Resort. Looking forward to staying with them. Stay with me. Treasure Island. at Treasure Island, the rooms, um, you've got some upstairs, now they've got their own balcony area that you've got a little table and some chairs and you can sit at, which is quite nice. Um, I've got my room downstairs here, um, so there's some downstairs rooms, I think a couple, maybe even three or so, um, and uh, you've got the upstairs ones where people have a table. Um, my particular room is over here. And you can see I've got a, a drying rack and some some chairs there to sit at. Look, I didn't sit there because um, I did have a mosquito problem here earlier on. So uh, I am conscious of not getting bitten by mosquitoes when I'm in these regions. And uh, mosquitoes and me, um, we don't we don't like each other. So uh, yeah. In the bed we've got um, a couple of chairs and a table. <laughs> well, this thing, uh, I reckon if I don't leave that thing on, I'm going to have a mosquito problem because that leaves directly outside. Uh, what have we got here? Our beloved guest, strictly reminder, pet charge 500. Okay, no worries. And this is a blackout curtain. Bathroom. Looks like this. Uh, bed like this, no smoking room, refrigerator, anything in here, yep, got an assortment of drinks in there, which is good. If I open this door and walk straight out here, I've got an area to sit down, air conditioner leaking all over the place, and pool and the beach, very, very nice, indeed, yes, pool and the beach straight out there. Happy days. Beautiful Beloy Beach in uh, 
along the Po Civic Bay area. You can see the uh, guy selling his wares on the beach there at the moment. I, I don't know what that is, it's a porridge or a soup or something first thing in the morning. But uh, the dive boat is uh, getting ready and what a great dive boat, it's really accessible. It's got some stairs down the front there and at the back it's really easy to get up on. And um, you know, the tanks are secure and uh, it's got some nice shelter from the sun. Uh, you can sit around inside there and uh, um, take you to your dive site. So uh, dive sites are really close there. They're all scattered around this uh, Subic Bay area. So I'm um, uh, really looking forward to going in and uh, uh, having a look at what we can see at depth. One of the things that reminds you that you are actually on a dive resort, and a really good one too, is the dive shop staring at you and then in the morning while you're having breakfast, you're watching the dive tenders preparing equipment for the divers that are going out for the day. They're hauling that equipment over the sand to the awaiting dive boat, which is just situated out there in the water. You know, you can walk out to that boat, um, it's only knee deep, and um, jump on and away you go. Uh, all the hard work's done for you, so it's a credit to these guys for really doing the hard work and making sure that the divers staying at the resort were having a really enjoyable time with the least amount of effort required. One other thing worth noting is that the resort did put on two live bands on the Saturday night, so it was really enjoyable. They played a lot of classic and uh, current hits. That's why I can't play it on YouTube because of copyright, but um, really good and kept everybody rocking and rolling in the resort. So uh, well done to the resort for that. It was really enjoyable. Looking back over Treasure Island Resort, uh, dive shop. Certainly a, um, a really nice location and um, a great place to stay so far. It's been very, really good. Um, the entertainment last night was good and uh, uh, the food is good. Um, I really can't complain. Well, all good things must come to an end and here I am checking out at Treasure Island. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and until next time, take care.